Hello everyone, welcome to this radio video and this is a quick video showing you how to decode the slow scan television pictures that are sent from the International Space Station. Um, I've hooked up my radio to a AM Radio Deluxe piece of software that uh, actually enables my radio to be controlled. If I look here, this is what it looks like. And uh, what you see here, this is the start of a pass for the International Space Station right now. This is controlling my radio via an uh, RS-232 interface. And we are, of course, decoding SSTV pictures. And here are a few pictures that I actually received. So this is the latest one that I've received uh, about an hour and a half ago. So this is quite cool. The problem with uh, receiving the ISS um, SSTV is to hope for a pass where the signal, the full SSTV signal, will be heard while you're trying to decode it. And that's the biggest problem because sometimes the signal is in this, right in the middle and if it is smack in the middle when it stops, well, you only get half a picture. I was lucky to have at least a good one earlier. So this is what it sounds like. This is the SSTV off of the International Space Station right now. And it's almost at the end, so hopefully, a little bit of luck, I'll be able to actually decode the next picture that I'll show you, of course, while it is decoding. Uh, on my laptop. The frequency for this uh, International Space Station amateur experiments are always 145.800. Now you might be wondering why am I at 803? Uh, because there's Doppler shift. The signal coming from a fast moving object in space makes it shift in frequency it's about the same thing as when you're hearing an ambulance <clears throat> when it's coming towards you and going away from you you hear a difference in the sound of the audio and it's the same thing but here with radio frequencies as you see my computer is actually tracking the correct frequency correcting my radio for the correct frequency now we just had the end of the slow scan signal so um, since we're you know only about a quarter into the past I'm pretty confident that we'll actually have a full decoding of the uh, image. So uh, this is in VHF, 145.800 is the frequency for the International Space Station amateur radio experiments of all sorts. Sometimes, uh, you know, they have contacts, uh, voice contacts with stations on the ground. Um, now in the past few days they've had slow scan television um, it wasn't supposed to be today I think it was supposed to end yesterday but it's still there so it's interesting for that and it's an automatic transmission they transmit a picture they have like a two or three minute um, interval where there's nothing going on and then it restarts the uh, decoding so uh, that's gonna be interesting if I show you the computer uh, software that I'm using here, which is the tracking satellite tracking off of uh, AM Radio Deluxe. Here you see that it's actually right now in the past. You see that the little line here is telling me that it's not yet uh, done to the maximum peak of the uh, path of the International Space Station. Here is the frequency and the correction. That little check mark tells me or tells the, the AM Radio deluxe to control my receiver and um, so hopefully we're gonna have the start of a brand new signal in a few seconds I'm gonna put it here and actually I'm gonna zoom in on that little window here this is where the picture will be decoded in a few seconds so uh, just gonna show you the images are sent in a format that is uh, PD 180 
and uh, actually what I'm using right now to decode is MMSSTV which is a free piece of software that you download off the internet uh, at the bottom I can show you I've got these that I've decoded yesterday so they are basically the representation of stamps from the USSR and here's the start of transmission and it goes automatically on the software you see the software starts automatically you see here a very good signal actually I'm uh, S7 and um, now decoding picture 9 out of 12 as you see here and it's a very very nice full quieting for those that are wondering what antenna I'm using it's a outdoor um, mobile antenna basically it's a antenna that was made for 2 meters and uh, 70 centimeters uh, 145 and uh, 440 megahertz and it does have a wide range of reception from um, 30 megahertz all the way to 1300 megahertz or 1.3 gigahertz and so uh, just a simple magnetic uh, mobile antenna nothing fancy I'm not you know having I don't have a fancy antenna that actually follows the International Space Station for the signal or anything and you can see how clear uh, the ISS is actually very easy to hear even if you have just a handheld scanner and what's nice is that the slow scan television you get here is actually um, FM mode so you don't need any special modes on your scanner to receive this just the regular FM mode does the job so as you see here we are receiving International Space Station slow scan television I don't know for how long they're going to keep the slow scan TV going on the amateur station aboard the uh, International Space Station but uh, the best thing to do if you want to know when it's passing over your city is to go to a site that's called Heavens Above which is a great website where you'll be able to uh, create a free account and know when the International Space Station is uh, overhead. I believe this is a series of stamps on Yuri Gagarin, which is the first man to have uh, flown in space. And um, I think it's for the fact that he would have been 80 years old this year. full quieting signal as you just heard so it's really cool and uh, you know it's a fun thing to do uh, all you have to do to decode is to hook up your radio to the computer and um, using the sound card input and um, MMSS TV will uh, decode automatically the signal as soon as it hears it um, if your computer is making too much noise you can also record it and use that recording to decode the SSTV from the International Space Station. So that was the decoding of uh, slow scan television on board the ISS, International Space Station, amateur uh, station. RS0ISS is the call letters of this station. So I hope you enjoyed the demonstration. 73.